Yeah, my name's Ethan B with my boy Eddie C Dropping AM rhymes like the Jeremy The mm. premier rap group Yeah, we're going far We rolling with the bass like Fish with his car word And I'm Edwin Crockett Today is Monday, April 30th Also, we here at Ephrata AM At the Ephrata FAM, the Ephrata FAM Would like to extend a formal invitation to any junior that would like to join our dysfunctional family Please submit an uh, application to Mr. Bischoff to join for next year. Now please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Mr. Bischoff. Hey! Do you like going to school events? Do you like taking photos? Well, then you should consider joining the Ephrata Cloisterite Yearbook starting tomorrow, May 1st. The club will resume their Tuesday meetings in Mr. Jeremy Bischoff's room 318 to work on the spring edition. Any student who wishes to participate in next year's book should attend. They will learn all about taking photos, capturing, and the whole yearbook process. See you there! Attention class of 2020. Yes, that's you, sophomores. Class t-shirt designs have been voted on, and we have order forms, so you can get your hands on your official class t-shirt, just like the one I have, except for your class. Look for your class officers to come to homeroom and offer order forms. Only $10 for a short sleeve t-shirt, $15 for a long sleeve, and you can pick from six different colors available. Attention all 9th and 10th grade students planning to attend college or another post-secondary school. We will be hosting a Spring Financial Aid Night in partnership with the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Agency on Thursday, May 10th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the EA, EA, EHS Auditorium. Come to learn more about career exploration, post-secondary planning, and student borrowing. Don't forget to bring your laptop and your parents. This is a great opportunity to start planning for your future today. Don't forget your parents. This announcement is for any student interested in learning about future military options. On Thursday, May 3rd, 2018, Selecto High School will be hosting a military night from 6 to 8 p.m. All students in grade 9 to 12 are welcome to attend. During this evening, students will have the opportunity to speak with multiple military branches about job training, college funding, and military service. Stop down to check out the information flyer in the counseling office for more info. <laughs> right, just scroll. Whatever. Scroll. Okay. Yeah. Hey! We're here for the news today. We also have uh, Mr. Robert Kennedy up there. <laughs> Yay! But anyways, the U.S. Senate confirmed Trump's appointee for Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to the position by a vote of 57 to 42 last weekend. He has already met with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and is being sent on a diplomatic mission to several states in the Middle East, including Saudi Arabia and Israel, two of America's closest allies in the region that we have historically been en enemies of each other. That makes sense. On this day in history, Adolf Hitler, while hiding out in his bunker, committed suicide in 1945. Germany could trace their downfall back to 1943 at the Battle of Stalingrad, and over the course of the next two years, Hitler could see the end of his precious Germany was coming. After Hitler died, those closest to him quickly cremated his body, but as the Soviets closed in, they took the ashes so the Germans could not make a memorial for Hitler. Just eight days later, Germany issued an unconditional surrender to the Allies. Now over to the main couch with lunch. Connect. <laughs> for lunch Howdy. today, we got a uh, mountain air cheeseburger. Oh, uh, barbecue, bar, uh, pulled pork, pork, <laughs> roll. <laughs> Uh, what just happened? <laughs> I don't really know, to be quite honest. Cheese lasagna rolls with meatballs and a whole grain garlic <laughs> breadstick. Buffalo chicken wrap. Chef salad. French fries. Fresh baby carrots or celery dip. Chilled pears, fresh fruit or slushy. slushy. That was a catastrophe. Now we're gonna Jay straight with the with the sports. Alright, okay. Alright, okay. Alright, okay.
In Resortes de Deportes, baseball won 3 to 1 versus E Town. Boys Lacrosse lost a close one 8 to 7 versus Warwick. The girls Lacrosse lost at Warwick and softball had no score versus E Town. Congratulations to the boys 4x800 meter relay team of Tyler Shu, Tanya Luce, AJ Morales, and Andrew Foster who competed in the prestigious Penn Relays over the weekend. The boys team made it to the finals on Saturday Championship of America race and ran a new school record time of 752.70. Placing ninth overall out of 72 teams. Good luck to them and the rest of the after track and field team as they head toward the postseason and the league, district, and state championships to be held over the next four weekends. Oi in Deportes. Baseball is away at LS. Track is home versus Solanco. Girls lacrosse is home versus Schuylkill Valley. And softball is home versus Garden Spot. Now, back to the main desk or couch. Pick on a senior day is when you get to dress up your favorite senior and they walk you to class all day. But you have to win them first, smiley face. All proceeds will be going to charity. Now the be beginning of the announcement. Attention all seniors, today is the last day to sign up for, for participating in Pick on a Senior Day. The sign-ups will be during your lunch period. Bidding will be from May 1st to May 7th. You can bid on your favorite senior during homeroom and lunches in the cafeteria. The bidding will go up by increments of 25 cents. You can secure your senior for $20 now. I am very competitive, so... Save up. Oh no, my glasses. Attention <laughs> all seniors who signed up for an internship next year. Or a student, my bad. There will be two brief internship meetings. The first will be held Tuesday, May 1st, immediately after school in Mr. King's room 207. Please arrive promptly at 240. A second opportunity will be held on Wednesday morning, May 2nd, during homeroom starting at 725, also in Mr. King's room 207. If you have signed up for an internship next year, please plan to attend one of these meetings. You can also find information posted on Schoology. Attention freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Just a reminder that there are two requirements that must be made in order that must be met in order to receive your laptop at the start of next school year or keep your laptop for the summer. Number one, students must complete the online safety and digital citizenship 2018-19 course on Schoology. The course opened at the start of April. It is in your courses menu and consists of three modules. The total run time of the course is about 30 minutes, but you can speed run it in about five. Me and my friends have done it. It is possible, so try. It is self-paced, so you can complete it in all, all in one sitting or return to it as many times as you need to until you get all the way through the course exit ticket. Get it done. Number, number two, parents slash guardians must also complete the online parent acknowledgement form. This is done through a site called Permission Click. Multiple emails have been sent containing the link. The email address we have on file for your parents slash guardians can be found in your student backpack on the community portal. A paper letter containing this same information is on its way to all parents. The letter should arrive by Wednesday, so even parents who haven't gotten the email yet will have access to all this information and can access the permission click form. The goal is for all students in grades 5 to 11 to have all requirements met by Wednesday, May 30th. That's one month away. Woo. Also, uh, one more announcement, if we can switch to the... Yeah, well, we skipped this one. National Day of Prayer is on uh, May 3rd at 7 o'clock. Meet at the flagpole for uh, lots of cool stuff. Anyway. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering, hey, Edwin, why are you, why are you and Ethan wearing these hats? Well, that's... Yeah, why are we? Well, I mean... They